Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. Oh. Then, why don't you really worry about it? And let me handle Sephiroth. And Cloud, you take care of yourself. You don't have a breakdown, okay? What is this place? This forest leads to the city of the ancients and is called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth uses Meteor. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Cetra, like me, can do it. The secret is just up here. At least it should be. I feel it. It feels like I'm being led by something. Then, I'll be going now. I'll come back when it's all over. Aerith. Hmm, so she's going to interfere. She'll be a difficult one, don't you think? must stop that girl soon. You look like you was having a nightmare. How are you feeling? Don't really know. I guess that's right. Well, don't worry too much about it. You know, Cloud, Aerith is gone. Everyone's out looking for Aerith. The City of the Ancients. Aerith is headed there. By herself? Why did she go by herself? Hey, we're going to. Only the Ancients. Only Aerith can save us from Meteor. Then we must go. What do we do if something happens to Aerith? If Sephiroth finds her, she's in trouble. Sephiroth already knows. Hey, why are you still sitting around? Let's go, Cloud. No. I might lose it again. If Sephiroth comes near me, I might. Yeah, goddammit. It's because of, because of you that Sephiroth got the black materia. It's your damn fault. My fault? I know you got problems. Hell, we all do. But you don't even understand yourself. But you gotta understand that there ain't no getting off of this train we're on. So we get to the end of the line. Cloud, we came this far. Aren't you going to settle up with Sephiroth? No. I'm afraid. If this keeps up, I may go crazy. 
I'm afraid. God damn, jackass. That's what you are. Just think about it. How many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. But they go on living. They don't run away. That's just how it is. Cloud, you'll come with us, right? I believe in you. What am I supposed to do? Just pull out of here? To where? Cloud. Wait a minute, Tifa. Give him a little time. He has to decide. Hide this on his own. You believe in Cloud, right? I'm afraid to find out the truth. But why? Well now, why, why the events that's been happening lately? Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we finished up events at Temple of the Ancients. We learned that the temple itself was the Black Materia. Ketchi sacrificed himself so that Sephiroth could not get the Black Materia. But was but Sephiroth getting the Materia in the first place was inevitable due to him possessing Cloud into giving it to him. We're back here in the Gungaga Inn. Cloud. Hey, how are you? I just want to know, which is it going to be? You want to find out by yourself, or are you afraid to find out? Either way, if you stay around here, all you're going to do is worry about it. Even if you go, if, even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky head and bring you back to normal. Cloud, it'll be all right. We're all with you. But if it happens, it happens. Don't worry about it. You're right. He's right, isn't he? Come on. Let's go and find Aerith. Yep, we're out in, in the Gungaga village. And what comes next is that I also want to equip Tifa with some materia because... Aerith has now left the party, thus her materia is, well... Back into our inventory. So I kind of want to go in and fix up Tifa. Uh, that's kind of bad though, because like probably the most Tifa is gonna get out of any of this is enemy skill. Um, where is enemy? Down here. Tifa, I'll give. There's not gonna be any like real good steals around. So I don't think we really need to worry about that. Um, there is one thing I really want to give. Um, no. I'll give Barrett the time materia. Tifa, I believe, is already good enough on her own right now. Whew. So we're out here in Gungaga. And our destination is City of the Ancients. The tiny Bronco has been moved over here for us to use because we can't get to the City of the Ancients without it. So, in order to get there, City of the Ancients. Um, we have explored two whole continents and have yet to see this place. Well, the reason being is because, well, um... It's not on any of these two continents, meaning you know it's 
You know what's gonna happen next. Y you know what I'm about to say. It's time to go to a whole new continent. And as dark as these events are looking right now, it's... I mean, a new beginning. We're going to, we're going to the third and final continent in the world. Surprising, there's Rocket Town. Wow. We've come a long way. And our next destination lies just beyond these waters. Over in there. Corel. And over in this area, we see a bunch of ice caps. Meaning a lot of snow is up ahead. But our real destination doesn't involve any of the snow. As our next destination is right here. The icicle area. And our next destination. The Bone Village. The Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate hate it for you if you want us to. Um yeah, it's not kind of what I want to do right now. What I want to do is I want to show off what lies beyond here. This area looks familiar, doesn't it? This is the Sleeping Forest. This is the area that Aerith was talking about. If you continuously come in here, and just keep on going forward, we're going nowhere. So, how exactly do we navigate the Sleeping Forest? Well, that item that, um, the person set in front of the tent was talking about, the Lunar Harp, is exactly the item we need, the Lunar Harp. So we're gonna want to start digging. We want the Lunar Harp itself. So, we get to use Staff. Um, here's the thing, though. I know exactly where the Lunar Harp is, and I don't want to waste any gill, so just dig in this area. And overnight, they will dig. And over here in this treasure chest will be the item. Key item, Lunar Harp. We can now, with this, we can now explore the Sleeping Forest. Oh man. But before we do, let's go ahead and... Wow, there's actually nothing in here. The Bone Village is also home to a bunch of a lot of hidden goodies. A lot of them really good. Uh, we'll definitely be back here later on to go ahead and nab those items. Like, one of them you can even nab now if you really want to, but we're not going to do that just because we already happen to have one of those items. And anyway, we're back in the Sleeping Forest. Now with the Lunar Harp in tow. The Sleeping Forest awoke. You saw, you, you guys probably saw something red over there. You are going to want to go and get that. Gotcha! Kujata Materia. That is a new summon. Um, yeah, summons are all really good. In fact, I kind of want to show that off. Barrett, you're... We're not going to be needing Revive Materia for what's coming up. We really won't. Kujata is surprisingly non-elemental. Um, Bahamut was the first non-elemental Materia that we got. I actually know Odin was. Um, yeah, Odin was our first non-sum, was our non, uh, first non-elemental materia. Then we got Bahamut, now Kajata. Kajata is a very interesting, uh, summon, in my opinion. I really love, um, like, what Kajata can do. Um, but anyway, in here, we have the Coral Valley. Um... I mean, yeah, we also got encounters here, if that was not any indication. These seahorse enemies right here. 
get rid of them immediately, and I bet I think I'm gonna go ahead and show Kajado against these guys, because these guys are not... Dance! Uh oh These guys inflict darkness on the entire party. Not fun. In fact, we're gonna go in for Tetra Disaster. And we actually ended up healing them from that. That wasn't very good at all. Uh, luckily they were at full health anyway, so they didn't really get anything back. So luckily, no harm done. And also, Aqualung one-shots them, so it's not that big of a deal anyway. Yeah, that's... Those guys right there. Cloud grew to level 40! Wow! In this chest, a water ring. This item is very useful for a particular enemy coming up. I would strongly suggest equipping that. I am going to equip... Actually... I don't think we've seen Tifa in a while. But Cloud is our strongest attacker. I think I'm going to equip the Water Ring to Cloud for now. Um, the Ribbon, I forgot... I don't... I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier. But the ribbon uh, straight up makes you immune to all statuses. Oh, come on. At this rate, I'll just want to, you know, I'll just attack these guys. Uh, I'm reflected with darkness. We can't really do anything. Aqua long one shots. Go for it. And just in case Cloud misses his, Tifo will go with hers. Barrett also one shots them. So it's not all that bad. Uh, uh, wait, what? Hold on. Wow, okay, um, ooh, this is not nice, this is not good, uh, luckily we have a limit break at the ready, two limit breaks actually, so we're gonna go ahead and go in for anger max, cause that should end these guys, yep, kinda sad, that, kinda bummed out that I had to uh, pop a limit right there, but, eh, it's not so bad, besides this area is really not that big in general, Come on. In case you guys are wondering, yeah, that's the only that's the only thing you're gonna be running into here. It's literally just that. But I'll just say this. This view, yo. I love this view. Every single time I come here. It's all that Actually I was wrong! There is an enemy we haven't seen about. These guys right here can inflict mini. Okay. Mini is not a good thing to get hit by. Um, it pretty much, Mini pretty much just makes it to where your attack just goes to complete garbage, and you're just not gonna do anything against anything. Uh, oh, come on, Cloud 2. What, yeah, one damage to everything, and hopefully we don't, hopefully Barrett doesn't get hit, because I really don't want to. Um, or you know, Aqua Lung can work normally, that's fine too. Oh, the Earth Materia leveled up, I was waiting for that one to level up. I was hoping it would level up in Temple of the Ancients, but it apparently didn't. Yeah, that view. E even for a game that whose graphics did not age well like this one, I still love it. Anyway, we're in a different part of the icicle area now. I'm gonna go ahead and use a tent, because actually I think I just wasted one. Because if what I'm thinking of is correct, then yeah, I definitely did waste it. In here. Forgotten capital. We've made it. The city of the ancients. Our destination. And this is where Aerith is. On the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, we're gonna go and find her. See you guys then.